Look at the scenery around us right now as we're heading up to West Yellowstone. This is gorgeous. I know, it's amazing. And I think this whole area is actually the original like caldera of the last super volcano, which is stunning. It's just, it's just massive. Wow. So it's a massive. Now, I could be wrong, so let us know in the comments below. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure as we're driving into West Elsa, we're actually driving through the old uh, Caldera. Caldera, that would be which so is cool. Yeah. Woo, welcome to Montana. Yeah, welcome to Montana. We made it. All right, baby. This is exciting. Let another fun adventure begin. So I have never been to Montana. I've never been to Yellowstone. May have passed through, but never have actually set foot in here besides watching, like, you know, the show, Yellowstone, and right. the other things. But this is super cool to be here. Grizzly RV Park, we made it. And if you're coming into West Yellowstone in an RV, a great spot to stay is the Yellowstone Grizzly RV Park. It's a great location just outside of town. You can just walk uh, a couple blocks, you're right in downtown, in the center of town, and just a few blocks away also from the gates of Yellowstone. Just a great spot. People here are super friendly. Place is very clean. And you got this too. Come on, check that out. And it can be tough to get reservations here as well. You can see here, sold out, no reservations tonight. So make those reservations early. All right, so for Dave and I, June is kind of a special month. Uh, it's sort of our birthday month. You know, for those of you that don't know, Dave and I, we share the same birthday, June 18th. And so we decided we're gonna be here in Yellowstone. There's this fun spot that's very popular right behind us, right there called the Buffalo Bar. So we're gonna go in, have a celebratory beer, and just enjoy the fact that we're here in Yellowstone for our birthday month. Yeah. Cheers. Great it. fun time here. Boom, boom, boom. And happy birthday, month. Happy birthday, month. Love for you. all June birthdays. Happy birthday, month. You too. too, too. Good morning, good morning. So we're at a gas station here in West Yellowstone, just filling up because we're heading into Yellowstone, heading up on the north side towards Lamar Valley. And supposedly some of our um, neighbors we heard that visit Lamar Valley, they actually saw a bear from close up to off in a distance. So we're heading up to Lamar Valley, really gonna make it a day up there to check things out and to uh, hopefully see some bears on this trip. First spotting in Yellowstone. There's bison up there, there's elk out there, there's a herring in the water. Now you probably can't see that, but we can, but take my word for it. So we're kind of in a moose habitat, but I'm not sure if we'll see any, what do you think? Moose? Well, odds are probably low in this particular moment. <laughs> but it's a, it's a beautiful like streams here coming through. Right? So the one thing that makes it really hard to find moose is that they're usually very solitary type animals. So unless there's, uh, a moose with the cow, the baby, you're not really going to see like herds like you'd see with elk right. or bison. So that just makes it harder to pinpoint. So I think the only real way we're really going to discover anything of like, you know, other than bison is when you see a herd of cars. Exactly. Yeah, a herd of cars parked means they're probably something other than bison because bison are everywhere. So they've seen them everywhere.
all these stops along the way. Right. It's like every every corner there's something different to see. Uh, but the air is super cold, super fresh. I am still um, high hopes that we're gonna see a moose, but I just love that we every every inch of the way you stop, there's like a different terrain, there's like a different view. The sun comes out and gives you like a whole different perspective of Yellowstone. It's so awesome. Oh, we're coming up to our first stop here where there's people on the road. What is it? Do you think it's a bear? Do you think it's bison? There's a lot of, it's, what percentage do you think it's bison? I, I think it's bison because I what can't imagine. What percentage do you think? 95%. 95% is bison. I say it's something else. Let's talk with the ranger out there for a split second and there is a gray wolf That's laying awesome. in the pastures out there. Yeah, I've never seen a, a wolf in the wild. That's yeah. so cool. And these folks here, I was worried at first. I'm like, don't get too close. But I saw the ranger and she said the rule of thumb is 100 yards. Yeah, so there's plenty of distance. Plenty there. of space between that and the gray wolf, which is out there. High five, Mama! Yeah, nice. Okay, nice Hopefully start. Hopefully we'll get a good look at one eventually, yes. but that's amazing. It's a great sight. You can tell, I mean, when you see all these cars here, it's not just a few bison. No, like it's everybody's not. Everybody's pulling everybody's over. Everybody's pulling over. Everybody's pulling over to see the wolf. Tell you, baby, you definitely feel the altitude. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm breathing a little heavy. Little. A little heavy. Well, we're up like 6,000 plus feet. Right. And then you take some stairs. So I'm definitely breathing. <laughs> right. So what do you think, babe? First time in Yellowstone. I love it. Right. It is so amazing. It reminds me so much of Iceland it right does. here. It does. Kind of like the boiling uh, underground, all the water coming up, I steaming. Know. It's crazy. Uh, and what a perfect time. You know, it's a little oh, bit yeah. later in the day, so there's no one here. So I we know. have it all to ourselves, my leopard crop! <laughs> all right. Whoa, look at this. It's a little stinky. Oh, a little stinky, but oof. It is beautiful though. Look at that. Look at the colors. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Well, this beautiful pool that you see over to my right, your left, is gorgeous, but you are not allowed to throw coins in there. Seriously, it is unlawful. Seriously. Right, it's not a wishing well. Not a wishing well, you guys. You're throwing coins in. You throw something in there, it'd be a wish you wouldn't Don't expect. Don't do it. This is amazing. It's spinning. It's spinning. Yeah, it's like a little mud, little mud pots there. Yeah, look at it. Bloop, 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 bloop. Hey, Dave. Yeah. Look at it. A live geyser going on right there. It keeps on going, right? It just keeps going. Yeah. Giving all the good stuff right over there, huh? I just love how you see like snow capped mountains in the distance. Like off. Right, bison in the field. And yeah. Then the geyser right here. I mean, right geyser. here. I think I see Old Faithful. I think that's got to be it. That's like really huge smoke, Dave. Like that's really huge, smoke, like steam. Is it, it is an old huge Faithful. steam. This is Biscuit Basin. Ah, Biscuit Basin. So, okay. Where is Old Faithful? <laughs> I think they moved Old Faithful. Oh, okay. Finally, we have arrived. We are here at Old Faithful. About one mile more to go. We're coming to see you, Old Faithful. Wait for us. Wait for us. We'll be right there. So we have made it finally to Old Faithful. There's like an Old Faithful Inn, there's stores. Um, I am excited to see Old Faithful. Hopefully we can catch her erupting, kind of welcoming me for the first time here and welcoming Turn It Up World for the first yeah. time here. That'd be so cool. I've never seen Old Faithful up close. You have, right? I have years ago though. It's been a long time, so. I'm ready. The show is over. Yeah, well, next one's gonna be around nine o'clock and uh... We want to get back. We got to eat some food. We shall return though. It's right there. We shall return, right babe? Can you do a special one just for us, Old Faithful? You know, that's what they call me. They call me Old Faithful. Come on girl, let's, let's go. Something Show special. me what you got.
something really magical about just staying quiet for roughly five minutes and just listen to the sounds of the waterfall. It's like therapeutic, right? Like definitely mesmerizing. Right? I'm just like, I mean, they patent these sounds and put them in radios for people to relax. And you get that right here. Without, okay. without doubt. <laughs> Bison in the road. First bison in the road. Uh oh, wait, there he goes. He's going across. There he goes. Hopefully he like goes off the road. Oh, All right. there he goes. Nice. Perfect. Cool. Good job, young man, old man, young lady. <laughs> exactly. Old lady. There we are. Good job, Bicey. And that's how you know there's an animal sighting. I know. Just look at all the cars. It, it's very rare you're going to be the first one to spot it. Yes, right? exactly. Exactly. Finally. Right, there it is. Yeah, you know, we were in Alaska for a long time, no bear. No bear. A lot of bear poop. A lot of bear poop. But now? Now? Yellowstone, Yellowstone. right by Lamar Valley, and beautiful, beautiful spot of a bear, too. Just, just my own business, just oh, eating so away, pretty. eating away. Wow, we have a uh, mama black bear with two cubs over there. Look at that. That is awesome. Mama black bear with two cubs. Oh my gosh, look at them. Hello. Buffalo Ranch! <laughs> yes, we are actually right across from Buffalo Ranch. And this is actually, uh, they actually use Buffalo Ranch to, to bring in some buffalo from outside Yellowstone because the population has gotten so low. Yeah, I think they it was down have, to like 40 buffaloes remaining. And so they kind of migrated yeah, them here. There would have been none in Lamar Valley at the time. And um, they actually crossbred with the buffalo here in Yellowstone. And now you can see they're just all, all over, the, over place, the place, all across Lamar Valley. It's really cool. Yeah, this Buffalo Ranch spot definitely has a, a wonderful feel. You're kind of surrounded by the mountains in days, right? You look off into the distance all around you for like at least a couple miles. It's like buffaloes, just buffalo dots everywhere. Remember? This is definitely what I remember, yeah. yeah. Well, you called it. You were so right. right. Now, we could have walked uh, right over to the uh, the point of it, right, as it went, goes over, but this is kind of that classic view. I have no words, just Beautiful. the sounds. One thing that's incredibly special about full-time RV living and also filming our adventures is just the memories that we're capturing. And uh, I just love being able to actually watch back uh, our adventures together, Tiny and myself and the two kitties. It's, uh, it's, it's really special and I know we're sharing it with each of you and it's, it's awesome. It's also awesome being able to share it together, like kind of watching it back together as, as a family. So Tanya has been off at the RV park office editing today, and uh, I'm sure we're both getting very hungry. So I'm gonna cook up something special, something gourmet. I'm gonna fire up the grill, and we're gonna have ourselves some hot dogs. Mm. So I gotta ask you, babe. Yeah. Is that the perfect hot dog? It is definitely the perfect hot dog because it was made by you. Mm. Oh, I bet you say that. Uh... All the weenies. <laughs> All the weenies. <laughs> you make me choke. That's not funny. Okay, we're done. I don't think everyone wants to see food in my mouth. We're off. <laughs> So 
so we're actually heading in right now here in West Yellowstone at the Grizzly and Wolf Discovery Center. Now we've heard a couple things about this particular sanctuary for grizzlies and wolves. Um, what tends to happen is some of the grizzlies and wolves that kind of insert themselves into more of the human life. Um, if things happen or go away, a lot of times they would euthanize from what we've heard the animals. But here is a rescue sanctuary. So they kind of allow for these uh, wolves and bears to have a second chance. So, now one thing about the bear exhibit is that they can't put all the bears in together because they don't all get along. So they'll put like one or one, one to three bears at one time, some that get together. Now actually some seem to be uh, having a little wrestling match over here. Let me mm -hmm. check it out. You know, it's really cool to learn about some of these bears that are currently out. I mean, there's Bo, which is like he mentioned earlier, the one over with the garbage can. Is that a cooler? Yeah, he's trying to get into that cooler over there. Yeah. That's why you got to make sure you seal your food in uh, bear-proof containers because he's trying hard to open yeah, that thing. Yeah, uh, and another reason you really should do that is one of the reasons they're here is because some of them got used to, Bo, for instance, there's a story, he got used to uh, human food, you know, yes. so he, food sources. So that might have been left out and he got really confident. And sometimes when they get too used to the human food sources, um, they end up getting euthanized. If you're interested in checking out this facility for adults, just so that you're aware, the tickets are $15 per adult. Um, that allows you access to the grounds here to really enjoy the different varieties of animals. It, it's nice. I'm, I'm not usually a huge fan of zoos, but right. when you hear things like this, um, more like a second chance sanctuary, I, I like it. Now the wolves aren't really putting on a show, babe. I know. This, this is like the afternoon siesta. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can see them, but they're just like sleeping away there. Right up you know? there. And look at the size of these fences. Like they are not messing around. This is a huge fence. It looks like there's like a little electric, like electric, wire. electric wire that goes across a few feet down from the top. Wow. So they, they aren't messing around in terms of keeping them here. But yeah, it looks like one got up, looks actually quite old. Yeah. So you wonder if these are some older ones you know, some rescues, things like that. Yeah. It's amazing to think that there were no wolves in Yellowstone for 70 years, no. right before they were reintroduced in 1995 by the Park Service. And it's been an amazing success. You know, yes. now there's packs all through Yellowstone, which is awesome. And, and one actually uh, interesting fact we learned today is that 90% of their prey is actually elk. Wow. So they really rely on elk right. to survive. I was thinking today's a really good day. One of the cool things here in West Yellowstone, babe, is the food. So I'm like, there's a lot of good eats over here. And then talking to some of the locals and even some of our fellow Turn It Up World family members, I was reading through like IG and they're like, well, we know West Yellowstone, we're here. You gotta check out these two spots in particular. TR Burgers, which is supposed to have some of the best burgers here, and Wild West Pizza. So we already checked out the uh, barbecue spot, which is like Firehole Barbecue delicious yeah, right some good food spots here good food spots. and we're hungry today so i'm excited for it ready to eat i'm ready foodie day, foodie day. <laughs> <laughs> now babe, one thing you'll notice right away in wild west the names kind of a full throwback in time like calamity jane oh, yeah. sitting bull sacagawea <laughs> of course blazing saddle but the pizza we're gonna get is butch cassidy yeah it's a local Wise, favorite yeah local favorite exactly and that comes, of course, with barbecue sauce, baked beans, red onions, and pulled, pulled pork, pork. Which is kind of right up our alley. Yeah. Now, you got to pair that nicely with some of those Diablo wings. No, chicken wings. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, you either get it hot or mild, but we're going mild today. Yeah, we're definitely going mild. Oh, isn't that cute? The pizza has a vibe. Look how cute that is. It looks, yeah. it looks and smells awesome, too. Right? Yeah. But we're diving in first. Yeah, we actually started diving in <laughs> to the wings already. And, uh... There's a little spice to them. They are totally mm. mild. They're very good with the cheese. Look at that. That is cheese. Mm. All right, babe. So you ready for the old uh, bison bison patty burger? I am ready to try the bison. I'm a little nervous to see what you think, but we'll see. Oh, I like it. Now we got the Americans with kind of the more simple burger here, but with a bison patty. So it's gonna be like 
cheddar cheese, bacon, of course, and lettuce, tomato, pickles, and onions. Mm. So kind of a simple burger, but with a bison patty. A little bully sauce, or which like a thousand. Yeah, I got the bully sauce. Yeah, bully sauce coming at you. Cheers to uh, a great day here in West Yellowstone at TR Burger, which is stands for Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah, thank you, baby. <laughs> what I want to know is why is Teddy Roosevelt on my burger bun? But if his stamp of approval's on it, might exactly. make a good burger. Because I've never had a branded <laughs> burger bun before, but hey. Should we give it a try? Give it a shot. Alright, buy some burger. I don't know if I've had one before. I may have never. many years ago. Oh yeah. I've had it plenty. Oh you've had a lot, yeah. It's much leaner yeah. than say, the traditional burger, so I think you'll like it now. There we go. Go for it. It's got a lot of good stuff on there, like bacon. That's good, babe. Right, you definitely taste the more like leanness of the bison, yeah. right? But uh, very good. And you'll like all the different sauces on there too and all the fixings that we got in that there. That bully sauce is good. That bully sauce that is good, bully. yeah. <laughs> so that's your turn to try. Why don't you take a right bite out of Teddy? Right out of Teddy. I like it. I like the fact that it is leaner. Now, I will say, putting the Thousand Island dressing, the bacon, um, that bully sauce, ketchup, pickles, onions, all that extra stuff it's all on there it's all yeah. fat. It takes away the fact that you're trying to go for a lean burger. <laughs> but it's really good. Turn it up, world! So it's our last day here in Yellowstone, and there's one thing I have not seen yet. And right. that is Old Faithful. So. Yeah, the eruption. It's funny, we saw Old I didn't Faithful see the in the end, but the... <laughs> I haven't seen the eruption see of the Old eruption. Faithful, which is why they call her Old Faithful. Exactly. <laughs> so, so we're on our way. On our way to see Old Faithful Oop. for one last hurrah here. Oh my goodness, Dave. And this is why you do not sleep in. Yeah, clearly. I made a boo-boo this time. We made it, so apparently... Old Faithful, she's about to go off in like 30 minutes, apparently. But we'll see. I mean, I see all the folks lining up That's here. That's why I call her Old Faithful. I know. She hopes she remains that way after today. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dave. What do you think? Yeah, it was cool, right? What do, I, what, what what do, do I you think? think? Yeah, what do you think, what baby? What do I think? What do you think about it? Exactly? I, I really liked it. I thought it was uh, pretty neat, huh? Yeah, you know, you you come out here, you don't know what to expect initially, but then all of a sudden, it's like, it's like one of those things where Mother Nature just, just right? remains faithful. But high five! Well, that was great. Yeah, that was cool. I'm glad you saw it. Nice job, baby. Give me a kiss. <laughs>